Hello everyone, today we are going to complete the playlist for electronic sheet advanced with the macros. We will create the macros in the spreadsheet. We will learn how to create the macro, how to run the macro, how we can pass the arguments and values to the macro, how we can use macros as function, how we can use macros for sorting the columns. So before we start, let's see what are macros. Macro is a sequence of commands or keystrokes that are stored for later use. It means like you have to do a task for a number of time on a daily basis. Like you have to format some data and for that it takes at least 5 minutes. So what you can do, you can record the macro when you are doing the formatting for those 5 minutes and that macro could be run any number of time on the same day or for data use you can use the same macro so it is going to save your time so a macro is a saved named sequence of commands or keystroke that are used that could be used later on advantages of macros are macros automate the repetitive keystrokes and tasks as i told you like you do not have to waste your precious 20 minutes every day or every time then second one is macro reduce the possibility of human error that increases with many repetitive keystrokes and tasks so it could be possible that you may forget any one of the uh, formatting while you're doing on a daily basis but when you record the macro there is no chance of error or Mistakes. The third advantage is macros are useful for making complex computation easier to perform by storing them in a name which can rerun every time one needs to perform the same complex computation. So you can create macros for doing some complex operations and computations as well which makes your work easier and quicker. But there is one disadvantage that the macros are applied always to the specified range. Once you apply macros, suppose for example from A1 to A10, only this range, it will be applied to the next next time to the same range. If you have 15 values A1 to A15, it won't be applied from A11 to A15. We will do it practically and you can understand it better. Macros are basically used for formatting like this is the report card of three students, Aruma, Catherine and Eva and I do not have formatting in any of them. So what I can do, I can format only Anubha's report, progress report and uh, while formatting it, I can record my macro and the same macro will be applied to any number of students. Alright, so let's do it. For recording the macro, you have to go to the tools menu and there you have macros option where you have to select record macro to create the macro or to record the commands for this particular macro. So you can see the record macro, recording of the macro has been started. If you want to stop the recording, you have to click on this option. Now I want this particular one to get merged, bold and let's fill the color over here with let's say this one and uh, this one then I want Aruba again to get uh, so these are different formattings that I'm going to apply now suppose if I find out the average of this student it won't be recorded in macro now I have done my formatting let's do some uh, more formatting here then I stop my macro it will ask you to save the macro so you can save the macro in any of the location here and i'm saving it in my macros you can give it a name over here like i can give it format progress report and while you give the name of the macro there should not be any space so keep this in mind then you click on save your macro will be listed here now your macro is here i want to apply it on the second sheet so go to the second sheet again go to tools macros and here you have run macro it will give you the list of the macros which are existing so you will choose the macro which you want to apply and run so i want to apply this one select the macro and click on run and here you can see that this is applied as i told you the disadvantage that it won't be applied to the range which is not specified 
let me add some marks over here in this particular row like it and i give the marks like 89 so if i run the macro over here for this particular sheet let me use it i'll go to tools macros run macro and then let's choose a macro so you can see that it is applied to the range which is specified it's not applied to this range this particular row because the range was limited to this only i hope the advantages this advantages are clear to you the next one is creating macro to behave like functions you can create the macros which behave like functions functions like equals to sum and then you give the numbers 4 comma 2 it will give you the sum 6 the same way you can create macro as function so for creating the macros as function you will start with function and then give it a name that will be the function name and then it should be the prayer of brackets and the last statement is end function between function and end function you'll give the you will define your function so let's do it practically so that you can understand for creating a macro which behaves like a function go to tools macros then organize and open office basic here you just select any of the macro and then click on edit you do not have to define anything between these two lines and do not disturb any of the coding and do not enter any code between these two if you want to write something you can do it after this particular comment so press enter t and then you can create your function just like i have created a function you will write function and then this is the name of the function then the double bracket then you will define the function i am defining the same function here equals to whatever you want to display this function I have named as details and here I am giving the details of mine. So if I uh, write equals to detail, it will display this particular line for me. And after that you will write end function. Okay, so let's write here. Now before you, once you write this, you have to click on the save button and then click on close. Okay, so let me try this over here equals to details and then the functions braces and click for uh, and press enter key you will get all the details which i have defined in this detail function there are some values which you can pass to the function like sum equals to uh, two sum equals to sum two comma five so these are the values or arguments so this also could be done with the macros how you can do that you will write function function name and the arguments or the values in this particular bracket and then you will write the code here then end function let's do it practically again you have to go to tools macros organize open office basic click on select the macro and click on edit this is the function that i have used function that function name is square one then the argument is because I want to find out the square of a number. So there is only one value that I am going to pass. Then square 1 is going to do the square of this. Means multiply the same number by itself. And this is how you can find out the square. If you want to find out cube, you can do that as well. So let me change it to cube. And here also I will, choose, I will change to cube. And then because you are finding the cube so multiply a one more time then end function again do not write anything between sub main and end sub once you do it click on save and close now how you are going to run it equals to cube one and the value so equals to cube one that's the name of the function and three press enter key and you'll get 27 and suppose if I want to, uh, I have given the value over here like 4, I can pass on the cell address also. So equals to q1, 
bracket, select the cell and bracket close, enter. So, you will get the result again. So, you can pass on the value or the reference. I hope this is clear. Now, now we are left with the last topic which is sorting the column using macros. So, for sorting it, we will go to tools, macros and record macro. We will select the range and we will sort it and uh, we'll, then we will stop macro, we will save it and then we will run it. For that, I have to create some data. So, I am creating this sheet over here, a new spreadsheet I have taken and I have added row number and marks. Then I am going to create two more sheets with the same data. I have three sheets where I have the data. So, I will start with the very first sheet. First, go to tools. Macros, record macro. Then I'll go to data, sort. So it has automatically detected the range. I'm going to sort it according to roll number in ascending order and click on OK. Now it is sorted. I'll click on stop recording. Save it with the name sorting roll number. As I told you, there should not be any space. So I'll put a hyphen here, click on save. Now I'm going to run the macro for second sheet. So tools, macros, run macro. You select the macro and click on run. And you can see it has been done. The same I'm going to apply to sheet 3. Select the macro and click on run. Add, it's been applied. I hope everything is clear to you. In case of any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel and be awesome. Thank you so much.